Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and Doomfist has been dominating season two of Overwatch 2 so far with all the buffs he received. So why not get one of the best tank fists in the game on today's tip video, Zebra. Hey, I'm Zebra. I've been maining Doomfist since DPS Doom back in Overwatch 1 and I've been making a ton of montages and content around the new tank fist. Against D.Va, use your rocket punch to cancel micro missiles or use it to charge up your power block. Use your power block to tank Diva Bomb and look for opportunities to cancel Remac with a follow up punch. In the Doomfist Mirror, you should cancel his power block with your punch. However, if he's already empowered and you're not, don't throw away your own punch cooldown since you have no way to defend yourself or your team against his empowered punch. If he's empowered, he'll typically look to charge up his punch longer, so use your own punch to quickly cancel him out of it or collide and fall down together. Against Junker Queen, you have two ways to play around her axe depending on the situation. Either quickly cancel it with punch during its windup animation, or use it to charge your power block. You can also look to punch and cancel her ultimate completely if she has it. Stop it when possible to prevent her from tagging more of your teammates with the anti-heal effect. In the Arissa mashup, the best tip is to actually ignore her if you can and take the high ground against her. Your abilities and attention is best used for the rest of Arissa's team. However, if you need to block, you have to wait until she uses her spear since that can cancel it. You can also cancel her javelin spin with your punch if you didn't know that. Against Formatra, you can generally ignore him while he's in Omnic form since you'll get better value going for the rest of his team. However, once he transforms to Nemesis, your priority should be to peel back and punch him away from your team. That way he gets no value from his pummels or his ult. Against Ryan, the biggest tip is to watch out for his charge, and you don't want to make your punches too obvious so you don't get counterpinned into their team. Other than that, I generally ignore Ryan and go for the rest of his team. Hog is a tough matchup for Doom, so I have a few tips here. First, play slow around corners and engage after he hooks. A lot of Hogs will take a step forward to do more damage after the hook, so sometimes you can block the follow-up shot by holding the block button when you get hooked. You can also try to avoid him and go for people who are alone instead. Look for punches to either cancel his heal or his hook if he catches one of your teammates. The Sigma matchup is actually quite favorable for Doomfist since your punch can easily cancel his rock and kinetic grasp. There's also an interesting interaction with his rock and your block, where it actually calculates the 100 damage first before the stun, so you do get empowered rather than having the rock cancel your block completely. You're also a threat to cancel his gravitic flux using the seismic slam plus punch to get in the air and in range. Winston is also a favorable matchup for Doomfist, and you want to use his punch to keep him off high ground from your team or punch him out of his bubble. You generally use your empowered punch against squishies and not tanks, but it isn't bad against Winston because he's often alone when he jumps in and you can burst him down. Against Ball, you can empower your punch by walking into mines with block, however it doesn't work if you block early before the mines are fully active. This might be a bug for now. You can also quickly clear them from your team with one seismic slam. Other than that, you can annoy Ball by punching him out of his grapple and fireball and his pile drive if timed correctly. Zarya's value comes from her bubbles, which is on an 11 second cooldown, so there are a few ways to bait it out. You can slam but look away at the last second. You can slam but cancel it right at the end if there's no one else around. You can start charging up your rocket punch, then cancel it or punch away. Against Ash, it's your job to force snipers off the high ground, so try to slam on her and get her to coach gun away, or just kill her if she doesn't have coach gun. You can also get a free empowered punch by blocking Bob's damage. Bastion is dangerous in sentry form and much weaker in recon form, so you can bait Bastion to use sentry form early by soft engaging and getting your block off of him, then re-engage when his sentry form is done. His ult is also a free empowered punch, but make sure you look at the center of the artillery with your block. Be careful of Cassidy's grenade since it goes through your block. You can also cancel his high noon with slam plus punch if he is on high ground. What the? F <laughs> Against Echo, you can't charge your block if the stickies are directly on you, but you can if they're on the ground. Generally, you want to ignore her most of the time since you can't do much against her as she's flying around. If she copies you, you can target her since she has less HP. Make sure you cancel her block with punch since that's the main way she can get value. Against Genji, account for his double jump and wall climb when slamming or punching, and try to read his movements. Whenever you see him deflect, try to cancel it with your punch. Whenever Genji blaze, try to punch him away from your team or bait him into targeting you since you can block most of the slash damage and slam away. 
Against Hanzo, he's a high priority for you to engage onto, and when you wind up your punch, wait for him to panic and leap. Remember that if he fires his ult, you can charge block off of it. Look for Junkrat's spam grenades to charge block. Be careful and look around the map for his trap since it will most likely mean death for you. Interestingly, you can charge block by entering a trap, just make sure you're safe if you do it. When Junkrat ults, try to look for him since you have so much mobility. You can block the tire or use your ult to bait the explosion and escape. Maze wall acts like a hitbox for your rocket punch, so it will also punch people around the wall. It works for your friendly May wall as well, interestingly enough. If May or her team is ever standing on top of her wall doing some cheesy stuff, you can jump and punch her wall to knock them all down. If you're empowered, you don't need to jump. Against Farah, look for direct rocket spam to charge your block. Farah may try to shoot beside you when blocking, so make sure to face the ground where she is shooting to protect yourself. I would only try to use power block on direct rockets though. You can use slam plus punch to cancel her ult or hit her against a wall. Against Reaper, look to cancel his death blossom with punch or quickly charge your block and hit him into a wall if he's solo ulting you. Generally, you want to keep your distance from Reaper since he can burst you pretty fast, especially if you don't have block. An uncontested Sojourn will win games right now, so try your best to contest her and get her off high ground. Every time you see a Disruptor shot, charge your block off of it. Sludger is another priority DPS, so you need to contest him and get him off high ground. Try to charge your block off of his Helix Rocket. Against Sombra, play around corners and pieces of cover as often as you can. You have to play with the expectation of getting hacked every time you go in to be able to go behind cover to live. Whenever you block, that's another opportunity for Sombra to hack you, so cancel your block and shoot her quickly to cancel her hack. You can also save slam to escape since it's faster and won't cancel your momentum unlike punch. Good luck, just survive and try to look for a translocator if possible. Look to destroy Symmetra turrets for your team since you can use mobility to get past them. If you ever see two turrets, you can charge block off of it. Other than that, you can jump her pretty easily as she has no mobility. Against Torb, punching his turret will punch people around the turret as well. And in this example, I just went for turret because it doesn't move, whereas I may have potentially missed on Torb himself since he's moving and strafing. You can also empower your block from the turret and his coom. Against Tracer, it's hard to land your punch or primary fires consistently, so you can pressure her with your slam since it has large area and does enough damage to force her to look for healing. You can charge your block off of a missed pulse on the ground, and if she's sticking you when blocking, save your ult to escape. Widow is an extremely high priority target for you to contest and get her off high ground. She's a free kill most of the time if she's alone, and you can slam punch cancel to chase her mid grapple so she doesn't get a free headshot on a teammate. Against Ana, you have to play around her sleep dart as it stops your block. You can still get your passive overhealth while being antied, so try to slam some enemies in order to live if you are low. Against Baptiste, his jump is annoying and can dodge your slam damage and a lot of your ult damage since he's further away from the center, so be mindful of that. If he uses his lamp, remember two things. One, your ult doesn't actually break immortality field. Two, try to punch the Bap and his team out of its range. Brig isn't scary in Overwatch 2, so don't be afraid to contest her since she's really weak and pretty easy to kill if you land your shots. Be mindful of her bash because that can still bring both of you to the ground. Against Kiriko, be careful about punching because Suzu can make you go through the enemy. Try to engage on her after she teleports or try to force her to teleport before you use slam. When she uses Kitsune Rush, look to punch her team since they will usually be grouped up. You generally ignore Lucio since it's hard to consistently do damage to him, but you can use slam plus punch to get midair and reach him on the walls. If you're empowered, remember your punch may stun him off the walls if you hit his teammate below. Against Mercy, use slam plus punch to reach her if she's low or if you see the opportunity to hit her into a wall with a punch. Try to mark her with your primary fire when possible to prevent passive health regen. Against Moira, you can honestly just stand still or walk in a straight line to make it easier for you to hit your shots since she's not going to miss anyway. When she uses Coalescence, your priority should be to cancel it with Punch. As of this recent patch, you can actually charge your block off of her damage orb, but you have to follow it around and keep it in front of you. Against Zen, look for angles the Zen is spamming to power your block. Other than that, he has no mobility and is one of your highest priority targets for a free kill. Thanks for having me, CarQ. You can find me at twitch.tv slash zebra or on YouTube as zebra.